The Hopkinton Center for the Arts has been working on renovating the barn for months, and this past weekend they hosted an open house for a portion of it, and Executive Director Kelly Grill was thrilled about the response. This is uh, the turnout is um, more than we could have hoped for. It was wonderful to see everybody and people coming to find out information about classes and activities going on, but also just to find out about the facility. So it's been really, really fun to show everybody what we've been working on. All right, and a lot of work still going on, uh, and a lot more space set to open up soon. Can you give us a, a timeline on when do you think uh, this construction will be done? Yes, our hope is to finish the construction by the end of October. Um, our challenge is that we still have $250,000 left to raise. There are many opportunities for donations and for name. There's naming opportunities at all different levels and opportunities for people to get involved and help us with raising that funds. But if we're able to raise the remaining funds, then we are set to open, uh, have our grand opening, a gala on November 7th uh, here at the, uh, in the entire facility. All right, and uh, what are some of the ways that people can uh, help out? Well, there's, uh, there's so many ways. Uh, so there's uh, tremendous volunteer opportunities on uh, the gala that we're running and our fundraising committee as well as um, there's opportunities to help in the office, there's opportunities to help with the theater and costume sets and props. Um, it's really endless. We're, we're just now building our core volunteer um, positions, I guess is <laughs> what you would call it. Um, Melissa Anulat is our volunteer coordinator and um, she is lovely and has um, any number of opportunities to suit people's needs of what they can what they can offer to us. And could you talk about some of the things that are still to come here with this new construction? Yeah, the, ne the next part is, is super exciting. We're going to be um, putting the walls up in the lobby and uh, performance center, uh, the parking will go in. We are designing a healing garden uh, to go outside uh, in memory of Nancy Barton, who was an art teacher here uh, and passed away sadly about five years ago. And her there's a memorial in her name, and so we are looking to design a garden and uh, have a place for people to come and just be. Uh, we also are designing a patio in the back uh, that we hope to have. Um, pavers and naming opportunities on our patio for our performances of Sunset Jazz series and Shakespeare Under the Stars. Um, there's, there's a tremendous amount of work that still needs to be done and we'll be having campaigns um, specific to, to those uh, different needs. What's been amazing is the outpouring of ideas and need for classes. We have begun an entire new dance program. We have ballet classes, tap classes, and modern classes, uh, as well as a brand new program for little ones in um, music to, Apple Country Music Together will be coming for infants and through age six for Mommy and Me music classes is brand new. We also have several uh, visual art classes that are new and new teachers. We have a relationship now with Boston Casting where we're offering acting for the camera and an opportunity to work with professionals in film and television. We have uh, classes in writing that are new, um, whether it's uh, memoir writing or creative writing classes and screenwriting classes so what's even more exciting are the possibilities of things that we haven't even thought of we have a yoga class that we're offering and we're offering classes for students who uh, have special needs as well as uh, seniors um, dance classes for seniors with mobility uh, who are mobility impaired it's just a, a tremendous opportunity for collaboration among many organizations here in town and uh, to try to meet the different needs of the region. With the additions, many new classes will take place at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts. Artist Priscilla Levesque was in attendance at the open house and she will be teaching a watercolor class starting September 17th. My name is Priscilla Levesque and um, I live in Lowell and I will be teaching watercolor painting here starting September 17th. There's going to be a class Thursday evening and also Friday mornings. I teach painting from observation, so we would start out by working from still lifes, which I would set up, and then we would also at some point practice working from photographs. 